Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back today to the Mayhew Research Institute's next episode. Alright, so today what we will be talking about is the phases of the fur trade in Canada. This is there's gonna be broken down into few phases according to the the um, our Canada textbook. All right, so uh, let's just begin now. So now in phase one of the fur trade, the the fur trade benefited both sides, it benefited the Europeans as well as the. First Nations. The First Nations got a better quality of life. They got the new pots, the new ponds, the new guns, but they also did it to build relationship as such. Um, the Europeans obviously got lots of money off of it. <laughs> um, so the Europeans met the First Nations at the cod fisheries back then. So, so it was it was like it was fair for all. Um, obviously, some organize well, some will indeed argue against that, but it was fairly, fairly fair. So there was a bit of a problem. The environment was a problem. More beavers were getting killed, more iron men were mined, and new gunpowder, knives, and sharpeners, more guns for defense, and more stoves and pots. So that was good for the First Nations. Um, now, as you may know, the First Nations used the land to do good things, not bad things. Well, killing a beaver for such things such as beaver pelts is not a very good thing, as we all know. Uh, so, during phase one, according to the R Canada textbook, um, I'm just giving my credits here, uh, were when the Micmacs um, began to trade with the Europeans. So, Cartier met with the Stadacones off the East Coast, and unfortunately, that did not go too well. Well, my friends, that's all for now. Stay tuned for Phase 2.